Uh, I have one item under old business, and it, it does concern uh, what the uh, finance director discussed tonight, and that was the uh, replacement of the human resources and personnel director uh, and the untimely loss of uh, um, Wanda, <coughs> who served as an attorney and served in that department. And I think uh, the appointment of uh, Jamie, if I may, uh, to fill those those shoes uh, in, in personnel and in human resources speaks to the tremendous leadership uh, pool and talent and bench that this town has in, in, in departments and that we, we were able to uh, fill those shoes and do so at a cost savings. And we, we, we did so uh, and we reinforced the command element. Uh, we reinforced the uh, extraordinary succession planning that uh, has gone under the uh, prior boards uh, in the selection and uh, the recruiting of department heads and the town manager, Mr. Welch, who's made some of those appointments himself. Uh, it enhanced our operational capability. Uh, it's been a force multiplier for the return on investment for the taxpayer, the shareholder in this town. Uh, and it has done so in an extraordinary way. And if this was a private sector business, it would be a, a, a fantastic recruiting accomplishment. Uh, we filled those two spots. In addition, as you see tonight, that uh, uh, Jamie is hot seating for the town manager. Uh, it's been a seamless transition and it's brought in uh, extensive leadership capabilities in terms of the personnel and human resources aspect. Uh, the assistant town manager has extensive labor uh, relations uh, experience, both from the union side, of which he was a member, and from management side, leading the Hampton Police Department. It's uh, a tenure of uh, magnificent and sterling, scintillating uh, executive leadership and a municipal platform that, that is now approaching 30 years. And this is a, uh, a department, the town of Hampton Police Department, working in one of the most dynamic, challenging uh, uh, platforms in the state of New Hampshire, period. So uh, uh, Mr. Sullivan is a Hampton resident. His children uh, are Hampton residents. They have gone through the Hampton school systems. Again, he sits here tonight and hot seats us. Uh, and again, it has been a seamless operational transition. And in a time of need, he is simply here in, in um, uh, interesting times for the town of Hampton leadership positions. And uh, he's been a calming influence. So we appreciate that. There have been questions about that in the community that are right, rightfully questioned when we when we make these decisions. This was a unanimous uh, Board of Selectmen decision. Uh, it was one that came about quickly because the the uh, passing of Wanda and it was uh, her untimely death that, that uh, led to this, this development. But uh, the notion of uh, we created a new position of the assistant town manager uh, simply is uh, one that doesn't require any new funds. Uh, it is done for free, if you will, and that is an unusual accomplishment in a, a coup, if you will. So I just wanted to emphasize those points. Mr. Welch did discuss this prior to his departure, and as the chair and of the board in our discussions, we felt the same way, so I just wanted to put that out publicly. That's my comment for old business. Roman 9, barring any other uh, comments, we have closing comments. Any? I just would like to say that I think you put that very well. The way that you worded everything is exactly, I think, the way the board feels. Wonderful. Thank, thank you. you. And, and thank we you liked board. scintillating on this side. Scintillating, yeah, that was. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Uh, just before you go on, yes, ma'am. Well, uh, and also in a situation like this, in a town of this size with the stress factor. Of management, this is giving the the manager an opportunity to recover from his surgery without all the stress and worry, and knowing that the town is in in good hands.